Brian, uh, I'm delighted to be speaking to you today. Uh, you signed on season long loan from Blackpool. Tell us how you're feeling. No, I'm delighted. Um, as you say, the deal's done now, so looking forward to getting things going and hopefully picking up where we left off last year. Tell us, uh, tell us how the move came about. Um, I think I had heard of it. Obviously, done well here last season. The gaffer obviously said at the end of last season he says I'm, I'll be dead keen to get you in if, if things would work out. But then it kind of died down over the lockdown period, and then I get back training with Blackpool last week, so. I got a few phone calls from agents saying that Plymouth are interested and um, obviously it was something that I was interested in after the success we had here last year. Obviously um, for supporters who maybe aren't aware of your situation, you're expecting your first child any day now. Yeah. Did that make the decision to, to relocate down here more difficult? Of course it did. Um, it was a big decision that we had to make, me and my girlfriend. Um, we had to make a decision based on the football and based on the um, based on the wee man as you said it's a, a wee boy we're expecting so now it is it factored into the, the situation but it's it's a lovely place to bring up a baby um, the family will always get down regardless of the distance um, and we can always get back up the road the gaffer made it the gaffer made it really clear that if we need any days he'll help us with days off to get back home and see the family and he said he'll help us with bringing family down and stuff so now it was um, it was made easier by the gaffer certainly of course, on the pitch, you enjoyed tremendous success with us last year. I think seven goals and 13 appearances, but I think only five of those were starts, yeah. if I'm right. Um, that must have been you know, a massive contributing factor to, to wanting to come back. You, 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 know, you know the system and it works for you. Yeah, massive. Um, as you said, it's five starts, seven goals, 13 appearances, whatever way, whatever way you want to say it. Um, uh, the style of play they, they play here um, obviously suits my game down to a tee as the numbers show um, so it was a big factor that um, the success last year obviously attracts me to come back here and hopefully replicate that in a, in a league above and of course uh, you've been given a nice new uh, squad number do you want to turn around and give, and give us a show it's, it comes with a lot of pressure this <laughs> number so now I'm looking forward to it I love the pressure um, nine's my lucky number I've been lucky enough to have that at a few clubs now but um, now I'm look, really looking forward to it and I'm buzzing to get that number and obviously you know you'll have the when, when they are allowed back in you'll know you know you'll have the uh, support of the Green Army they, they took to you really well last year is that kind of does that play on your mind when you decide where you're going to play football yeah it does obviously at the start last year when I signed um, there was mixed opinions because nobody really knew what I was about but then I think it was the first game don't know how many minutes four in minutes. four yeah. minutes in I'd scored a goal so obviously when you're doing that they, they take tea very quickly so I managed to get a successful season last year and the crowd obviously liked me as well so it was um, the size of the crowd helps as well um, 15,000 odd at every home game so it's massive um, them helping you on for the side and now I'm looking forward to getting involved in it again Obviously they won't unfortunately be able to possibly join us at the start of the season due to the current Covid situation. Have you got a message for the supporters? Yeah, just stay patient. Um, obviously health's more important than anything else right now. We would all love to see the stadium full but um, it'll come. We'll get our time to celebrate last season and um, obviously help us through this season. So now nah, um, we're looking forward to it and let's see how far we can go. And looking forward to next season, obviously now, do you have a, a personal goal in mind in terms of achievements, what are you looking to get out of this season with us? Yeah, I do. Um, I keep my goal targets, like obviously my striker, so that's what I want to do, I want to score goals, but I'll keep them to myself and then hopefully surpass them and then I'll be able to reveal what it was. But now I'm really looking forward to it and as a team point of view, we'll, let's pick up where we left off last season and see, see how far we can take it. Thank you and welcome back. Thank you. Cheers.